island something awesome something amazing and it's got a lot of really interesting details to it and something that you're really happy with um so again this week you're adding a character um you can choose by with any of these tutorials that I've got right here. Uh, it's got an alligator, a superhero suit, um, a beaked whale, an alien. Um, there's a lot of really, really interesting ideas. You don't have to use these ide ideas exactly. If these ideas spark an idea for you, um, you can take those and use them to create the, the character that you want to add to your island. Um, so again, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be using a really cool feature that just got added to Tinkercad to design it in its own file and then add it as something that you can add to your project. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've created a dolphin already and that dolphin is right here. Um, so this dolphin is, it was kind of really cool to make. Um, really interesting. Um, it, the tutorial is kind of difficult, but it was, it wasn't too bad. Um, but I'm sure you guys are going to do much better than what I did. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to add it to your parts collection. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to first click the shape to select it. And then you're going to go over here into the basic shapes menu and you're going to scroll all the way down and click parts collection right there. And then you're going to go ahead and then create a part. Now, remember, it's not going to let you create the part if you haven't already clicked on the shape. So I've already clicked on it. I'm going to click create part. And then I'm going to just call it dolphin. Oops, there we go. Now, uh, there we go. And then I use a lot of different uh, options that you can choose. Um, I'm not going to lock the part size because I want people to be able to scale it up and down. And then I'm going to say save part. There we go. And it's going to save it to my parts collection right here. So it's going to be right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my island that I've already created. So it's going to take a little bit. Tinkercad is moving a little slow while I'm creating this video. Um, there we go. Right. Right there. You can already see that I created a submarine as well. Um, and then I have my island. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to click Tinker This. And then it's going to bring me back into my island. Now you guys can already see that I've included some of the dolphins already. Um, I've already done this once. Um, so once it's on and once it's something I can work with, I'll show you where you can find that. So what I've done, I've already got a few things going on here. I've already got a pod of dolphins right here and I've got my little submarine that's kind of chasing after them. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to add those. So what I've got, um, I'm going to click shapes again. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then I'm going to go to my parts collection. Click there and I click the dolphin and just like any of the other shapes in Tinkercad, I'm going to drag it in there and then it can become a shape that I can build with in Tinkercad. Now my island, my dolphin is a lot bigger than what my island is right now. Um, and this isn't uh, dolphin island. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that down. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then I'm going to click one of these and I'm going to drag it down and then make it a little bit more manageable size. Whoops. I was holding down shift there. Whoops. There we go. I, I let go of shift. Um, so I'm going to hold down shift again. I'm going to click that shape. There we go. I'm going to go both at the same time. And then I've got a, dol a dolphin right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and reposition him real quick. I'm going to shrink him down just a little bit more. So I'm holding on shift again. Shrink it down. And now once we've got it where to about the size that we want it, we can also go ahead and we can change the angle. So if I want to make it look like this dolphin 
is jumping out of the, uh, the water, I can do that. So I've got that right there, and then he's about where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. You can duplicate by holding right there, clicking right there, or you can do Control D on your Chromebook. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to grab a few of them and just reposition them so that they're jumping out of the water right there. There we go. And then I'm going to do one more. Oops. Duplicate one more. Oops. There we go. Move it right there. And then I use the cone tool to pull it up. There we go. Let me push this one down a little bit. There we go. So once you got that done, then go ahead, screenshot this. You're going to also screenshot your dolphin and add both of those screenshots to 